Can you learn to play piano by yourself? Yes, you can, but it's going to be challenging. In this video, I'd like to lay out the top five pitfalls which await someone like yourself who wants to teach himself or herself to play piano. I'll also give you some of my tips for avoiding the pitfalls, or at least climbing out of the pit. Number one, not knowing what to play. Most YouTube videos are pretty random, and it's hard to know where to start. If you're just starting out, I highly recommend focusing on playing simple songs that you like. Emphasis on songs and like. Theory and technique are important, but they will wait a bit. Your first order of business is to just play something that sounds decent and that you enjoy playing. Learn how to play a few simple chords and then look for chord sheets on the internet and play along with your favorite recordings. Try to find a self-contained online course for beginners or maybe a book. There are plenty, just make sure to read reviews and ask around in forums. It's hard to give specific recommendations because these things change quite a lot and you might be watching this video in 2019 for all I know. Number two, having unrealistic expectations. Many people try too hard. They expect too much from themselves. If they don't sound like professional musicians within a month, they get discouraged. It's important to remember that learning to play an instrument takes many years. Progress will be slow. It takes a few weeks to learn a new song or a piece. As I prefer to put it, don't be your own worst boss. Take it easy on yourself and don't stress yourself out. Don't get frustrated when progress is slow, as long as there is progress and you keep hammering on it. Number three, lacking motivation. Motivation will usually be high in the beginning, but dwindle over time. There are two ways of fighting that. First, focus on playing songs that you like. I've already said that, but that's a big motivator. Second, enlist the help of a friend or a loved one, although they might love you a little bit less once you do. Ask them to listen to you play once a week, on a regular time, uh, and knowing that someone will listen to you every week will create a very strong commitment on your part. Just make them understand it's more about motivating you and less about impressing them. That's not the point here. Also, buy a simple recorder and record yourself performing your different songs once a week. You could even use your smartphone to record yourself. Listening to yourself grow in weekly intervals and evolve over time will give you a very deep sense of satisfaction. Number four, not having a schedule. Just like any other activity, learning the piano really needs to be done on a regular schedule to be successful. You need to set aside a fixed amount of time and you need to sit down every day at the same time and practice. Make sure you fit the practice routine into your daily schedule. Uh, it could be before you go to sleep, after you get back from work, uh, maybe after breakfast. Either way, having a routine is one of the greatest forces that keeps you going, even when motivation dwindles. Number five, not knowing which instrument to buy. Beginners tend to agonize when buying their first instrument. Fortunately, today, even entry-level digital pianos and synths are pretty great. For people learning the piano, the entry-level Yamaha, Kawai, or Roland digital pianos are all fantastic. You could also buy a used model. That's fine. Try to buy something self-contained with speakers that doesn't need a computer or some additional amplification to work. Something that you can just turn on and play. Uh, as of 2017, uh, I think a Yamaha P45 can be had for about $400, which is really an amazing deal. And of course, all of the other companies have their entry-level uh, deals as well. I'm not a Yamaha representative, nor do I get anything from them for this endorsement. My point is, don't agonize. It's almost impossible to get this one wrong. That's it for today. I hope I've given you some food for thought, as well as some motivation down your path. And of course, don't forget your secret weapon, 
the Mango Project YouTube channel. Uh, I've got weekly videos with great tips for beginners and intermediate players. Now come back and post comments on this video regularly just to tell everyone here about your progress. You can do it if you put your mind to it. Good luck and I'll see you next time.